Instagram is here. You have your oil, possibly you have any follow-up oil, <coughs> or you purchase extra oil cheese. It's possible you have your oil for the oil or you buy extra oil cheese. What you have in these two is very easy. All you just have to do is because this is an industrial machine, it has a pump by itself. It has a pump by itself. So the pump by is come and have a look. Oh. You can see. This is the pumper itself. This is the guy that will take the oil. oil. So it's not like all those emergency machines that you have to be getting the oil, putting it on each spot. So now, here we have low and high. Low and high. So let me pour this first one. In case you are just installing the machine, it's possible the one you'll be putting there might not be sufficient. Do you see it? It's not even up to low. Can you see it on the ears? From this you can see it's not even up to low so you need additional extra oil to increase it so this will just come here and see everything is now overflowing <laughs> This is the normal standard way of putting the oil, but sometimes I have customers that will just put the SS. The SS is not it. That doesn't mean the machine will work extra work. So, after the thing has gets to that high of the stuff, just leave it. It's working fine. So, after you've done this, you don't, you don't need to put oil anywhere again on your industrial machine, apart from this side. But make sure that this side is clean. You have not having anything other substance inside it than the oil. There is no thread, there is no needle, there is no oil and water. Especially tell us make this mistake be where you are swing, you are eating, which is a very bad attitude. So when you get water inside this thing, it will get it damaged and it's very very bad. So this is where the oil is. You just put it down. You bring it back. Maybe you pedal your machine to pump the oil itself and you are good to go. Drop.